Hello everybody, in this video we are going to be installing the brake control to the Gladiator. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Juan Carlos. I'm going to be installing the Tecosha brake control I had on the Ultracon Wrangler. This is going to be an easy install since the Gladiator has a pre-installed cable you just get an adapter and hook up the brake control to versus when I did the Ultracon Wrangler how to wire the whole entire vehicle. So let's, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is locate the receiving end for the brake control adapter cable that's on the left hand side of the brake pedal so I just down tape it there it is you have the connection the receiving part let's get our cable extension and connect it to the receiver here on the gladiator once again we're right left of the brake pedal it was just attached so you have the attaching mechanism on top so you just want to line it up your adapter and the plug just plug her in now that we have the adapter connected I want to see where I want to put the uh, actual brake control and I want to come a little higher than where I had it on the Ultracon Wrangler because it does get it in the way of your knees so let's see exactly where I'm going to put it I think I want it right up here I think that'll be out of the way like right there still on that removable panel right next to the start button that's what I'm going to go for right there I'm just going to go ahead and remove this panel here just pull it from the bottom I made a little mark right there I don't know if you can capture that there right there so that's where I'm going to install it I got my Brake control bracket attached to the panel. All we gotta do now is just snap this panel back onto the dashboard. It's real easy. There's the brake control. There's the brake control bracket. It's definitely out of the way now. All we have to do now is attach the brake control to the cable. I've attached the cable to the brake control. I'm now gonna snap the brake control to the bracket. like so there you are brake control it's out of the way I'm gonna toggle these cables in a little more there's my brake control attached as you can see it's nice and clean and I just zip tied it to that crossbar right there so it's a nice clean setup I still have access, I can easily see it. Still have access to it. There's no trailer attached to it right now. And it's right on top of my, it's right on top of my start button. What I'm gonna do in the future is get a switch panel box and connect the power to the brake control. That way I can leave the brake control connected at all times and turn on or off 
the brake control when I need it. So that's what I have in mind. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for future videos. Till next time, everybody.